We don't get to talk about radiators very much in sprint cars, but they are extremely critical. Shout out to the legendary Charlie Garrett. Anytime you see Garrett's racing engines on the side, you know it's going to be going fast. One of Australia's real success stories is PWR. Um, Keys Wheel has built a phenomenal business that I don't think people really understand, Nick, the scale of that business. Yeah, it's pretty next level the, for what they're doing from a little company in, um, in Yatla in Australia to the, you know, the F1, NASCAR, the Space, IndyCar, MotoGP. Yeah. The sprint cars, is, these are the most basic radiator you're probably going to see <laughs> compared to when you look at some of that F1 stuff. And um, the money that comes with it, um, yeah, everyone knows the F1 stuff just... Um, next level. I mean, they don't even do their own stuff. The Formula One teams don't even bother doing their own stuff. When you go to PWR, it's everyone. Mercedes, McLaren, Ferrari, all of them. Yeah, they've got like a wind tunnel there and yeah. the cameras and all the engineers stay in their office wherever, where they're at, Milton Keys and Italy or wherever they're at. And um, yeah. yeah, it's all, it's, it's, I've been through there, but I haven't been through the new one, but Keys was saying the, 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 the new stuff's, yeah, it's like, obviously again, it's bigger and better. With everything in sprint cars is about weight. Radiators are certainly part of that equation. Yeah, um, obviously it's an aluminium radiator. Um, aluminium is good for dissipating heat. Um, we had some overheating dramas there. We had a smaller radiator in, so it was four inches shorter than these ones. But these motors are just making that much power these days. Um, obviously not chasing as weight as much as I used to be with, you know, Lockheed's a lot lighter. Yep. Um, so PWI built us some radiators that are four inches taller. And now we often we take we put some race tape here at the start of the night and block off yeah, some okay. of the radiator to try and get that temp up. Um, yep. like we raced in Darwin in 37 degrees heat every night, and yeah, these things are yeah, absolutely perfect. So um, it's a yeah, it's a credit to them and having them on um, in our corner is obviously a great thing because we can um, you know we can make changes to our radiators and um, they execute every time. What is the optimum temperature for a sprint car? Like, at what point does Lockie start getting worried? Does he look at gauges, by the way? Uh, Do you look at yeah. gauges, Lockie? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, no, nah, it's pretty good. Look, you know, 240 is obviously boiling. Um, we had, you know, when we had them other heating issues with um, the other engines, it was um, getting around the clock a bit far. But um, these motors are pretty strong, and a credit to Charlie and, and Michael Newman. Um, leaked them down every time and we've actually never had a problem from overheating so um they've done their job um it was more about us trying to get get them get the bigger radiator in and since we've done that we haven't had a problem but they normally run at about you know 220 200 okay. roughly racing um all idling around a caution comes out they normally drop down a bit depending on how hot it is and what's going on outside but um um and in our sport clay build-up is probably one of the things that used to be far more prevalent Back yeah, in the day, right? We've got this honeycomb stuff here, yeah. which is what they build aeroplanes out of, really. Yep. Um, you can hit that all day long and it's not going to do anything. But yeah, obviously dirt and we have another screen that goes in front of this. Um, we don't have many places like Parramatta anymore. No. Nah. Like that was next level, wasn't it? Some nights there you need an excavator. To the top <laughs> wing. But um, even when we've had these blocked up now, it's they're that good. It actually, it, they're still not getting hot. So it's, it's pretty, pretty good. Shout out to Keys Wheel and all the amazing team at PWR. They're going to be more involved in the space industry, I'm pretty sure. Not bad for a little bloke that put something together from a garage in Warrnambool back in the day. 